Hi, expense report template and expense type Oracle Cloud expense. I will talk about how to create expense report template, how to create expense type, and as you see here, creating expense template, expense type, optimizing expense type, and how can I enable we to enter expense reports I think this is the second video for me for Oracle Cloud expense the first one you will find in my channels regarding how to configure or how to set up expense system options for your business units let's get into application to start as you see once you log in you have to go to setup and maintenance then select financials then go to down and select expenses as you see here there are two values all tasks and required tasks in my previous first video I discussed about the first setup to first step in configure expense is manage expense system options Today I will talk about manage expense report template and expense type. So let's start to discuss about expense template. Just here you can search or you will are going to create a new one. Expense template is a group of related expense types that are defined for a specific business unit. Examples of grouping of related expense type include expense template either travel accommodation education and relocation etc expense template enables company to control the expense type visible to each business unit additionally if your company process card transactions and you want expense type automatically assigned during card transaction processing you must set a default template when creating expense template it's advisable to consider using expense template defining default expense template in activating or inactivating expense template for the using expense template when employees create expense items in the create expense item dialog box to add to new or existing reports they select a specific expense template so you have first to define this expense template to allow the users or employees to create expense template. Each business unit can have multiple expense template associated with it. Expense template cannot be shared across business units. If your company operates in multiple countries, you must create one expense template per business unit. If your user use multiple language within a business unit, then you must implement expense template in each of those language. For example, if I enter the name, description, what is your business unit, what is the start? For example, on January end or effective end date for the end or inactivating expense template you have to enter here a date in the end effective date to create expense template page here you can also inactivate individual expense type in the same way to create or edit expense type page however the expense template end date overrides the end date for individual expense types note that employees can still use inactivated template to enter expense on report for the period in which the expense report was active if you decide to inactivate a default expense default expense template then no corporate card mapping occurs if no other default expense template is identified so you have to ensure that this end date either you have to enter through creating or after sometimes you decide to effective end date this expense report template 
A default expense report template is the first expense template that you can create on the create expense template page. With corporate card expense type mapping, the application automatically sets the first template as the default template. This action occurs whether or not you select the set as default checkbox on the create expense template page. You can also change the default template as long as the one you are changing to has corporate card expense type mapping. The purpose of the default expense template is to automatically populate expense type to credit card transaction. Thus, when employee or container workers create expense reports, they can see the expense type assigned to the corporate card transactions. Again, each business unit can have only one default expense template. For each business unit, you can have a default expense template with additional expense templates. For any business units, you can have a default expense template with no additional expense templates. If neither a default expense template nor an expense template is associated with a business unit, you cannot implement expenses. Again, this checkbox will enable after you set the proper information for expense report template. Once you complete, for, for example, expense type, credit card type uh, mapping, receipt requirement, expense fields, it will be visible for you to check it or not. Let's start here that you see that we enter the name, description, which business unit, because we define our expense report template at business unit level, what is the start date and the date. Then we go to, there are four tabs, as you see here, expense type, card expense type mapping, receipt requirement, expense fields. All of this you will find also in expense type inside. So let's start by expense type to create expense type. Just click create. Expense type is a potential expense that employees or container worker can incur. Expense type are granular expenses. For example, if accommodation is an expense category, then possible expense type are hotel, motel, and bed and breakfast. After you set up an expense type, employee can select it from the type list on the create expense page. The type list can display up to 20 or 250 expense types. It is possible up to 250 expense type you can define or it will be visible for the user or employee. When you create expense type on the create expense type page, you assign account to expense type. Let's start for example accommodation. Again, we can create which category there are. This is our standard category accommodation, refer, car renter, blah blah blah. So I will select accommodations. Tax classification code you can select tax classification code depends on the tax setup. Here I need to mention that if you define a lot of tax rate, it must be visible here. But if you find that you already defined, for example, 15 percent, 20, blah blah blah, and is not showing here, you have to check again the setup of the tax rate like this page for the tax rate setup step in tax configuration during create the tax rate there is one checkbox for expense if this unchecked and you already created again you have to either disable or end the date this rate and create a new one by enable expense checkbox once you enable this checkbox it will be applicable here in tax classification code for the account that you can assign the specific account as a default for this type for example this I will select any account so this account will be default for this expense type again later you will know that there are some operating uh, profile options you can assign to the users or the sites to allow the users to change this account during enter the expense type. But by default, you have to assign it's required here. 
to assign account for each expense type you create for the effective end date also you can enter effective end date for the start date you can enter the same start date of the expense type or after that whatever but it will not be before the effective start date of the expense template this expense type used in itemization only itemization is a prick breaking down of charges in a granular fashion so they can be applied to specific accounts itemization applies to both corporate card expense types and the cash you can set up itemization on the itemization tab here of the creator or edit expense type page according to your company's requirements you decide whether to enable or disable or require itemization by employees or containment workers when they create an expense type or expense item during expense entry during itemization setup you also decide one of the following whether expense type you defined are eligible during expense entry for itemization only or whether expense type you define are also available as an independent signal or single expense type for your information that when a itemization is set up as a required or enabled include at least one expense type on the itemization tab of the create expense type page for the prepaid expense items prepaid expenses are travel or business expenses that a company directly pays to the vendors or mercants before or after an employee enters them in an expense report Entering these expenses in expense reports allow companies to accurately allocate these expenses. Once you enable prepaid expense for an expense type, when you enable these options, the create expense page displays that this, this is a prepaid expense checkbox when that expense type is selected. Employees can enter the prepaid expense in the expense report for this expense type by selecting this checkbox. You cannot enable prepaid expense for itemization only expense types. For example, if I select itemization, you will find allow prepaid expense is disabled. Again, I will select that this is not itemization. You can allow prepaid expense item and vice versa. When the process expense reimbursements process runs, prepaid expenses aren't passed to payable, and the employees don't receive reimbursement for the prepaid expense. The accounting distributions for the prepaid expense aren't passed to payables because the expenses were prepaid. The companies are expected to have captured the accounting distribution in the original payment made to the mercants. Again, if you enable this at expense types, it will not send any accounting distributions to payables because it's already been repaid before the user or the system send these invoices to the accounts payable module. For the itemization, if you select itemization, you can come here and enable or disable because it's disabled here, it will be disabled here. For the prepaid expenditure or project expenditure type mapping, if you implemented Oracle Fusion project costing and if the user is allowed to enter project information, for example, a project enabled expense type enables a consultant to allocate their, this consulting expense to a specific project and its task during expense creation report. So to set up, you have to come here and to enable project and select what is the default project expenditure types and you can assign the project type, expenditure type and description. If you are not implemented or if you are going to not make a relation between or integration between project and expense, so you will not enable this project type. For receipt requirement, are you going to require receipts for cash expense lines? Here, you set up from expense template because each of these is 
the setup is either at expense type level or expense template level so are you going to require receipts are you going to use the setup from expense template or is it no is it will be not required or i need receipts for amount more than one five thousand for example again are you going to ask the employee to require receipts for corporate card expense lines again you set up from expense template or not required or again you have to put specific or percentage amount or whatever so i will select not required this is up to your requirement are you going to apply receipt requirement rules to negative expense lines again is it no yes or you set up from expense template display receipt missing policy warning to users as you know that there are policy it will be defined for the expense type we will talk about this policy in, the, in another video because it's too long so depends on the policy which you will assign or and creating for expense type are you going to display receipt missing policy warning to users yes or no or again use the setup from expense template because in policy you will have two options either warning or error once you define this policy for each of your expense type and you come here to expense type to assign your policy here are you going to display the missing policy warning to user or not as you see here is the policy you have to define the policy and come here to assign your policy to the expense type expense fields for the expense fields there are description expense location number of days mercant name for the descriptions are you will heading it for the employees or make it optional or required or again use setup from expense template for the expense location again is it optional heading required number of days the same heading optional it will be not required like location and the descriptions and the mercant name again heading optional required use setup from expense template this is how to define the expense type let me try to save save and close if you remember that there is one option to use a setup from expense template here again require receipt for expense require receipt to corporate apply receipt rule everything you find in expense type you will find here if you select here use setup from expense template you come here to set up your whatever again 5000 again no blah 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 and the display yes or no expense field is the same either description heading or optional heading optional required and heading optional required this is how to set up the expense report template and expense types and once you define it you will notice here that the set as a default is applicable you can select it again if you need to unselect just try to cancel it will be again open and you have to select it again I hope now to got some information of about expense report template and expense type it's very simple implementations for expense type also you can add more you can add one for miscellaneous uh, again one for airfare one for car renter and this with a specific description optional blah 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 for the miscellaneous i will assign a specific account i will make itemization only for example for meals itemization is a breakdown of charges like fees like tax like uh, uh, blah 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 so in the in the meals of the expense type i will make it itemization and so on how can i enable employees to enter expense report before of that of either you have uh, consultant for hcm or you already the same you consultant for finance and supply chain or finance and sorry HCM so there are some rules it must be assigned 
that human capital management application administrator role, application implementation consultant, application diagnostic regular user, application diagnostic viewer. This must be assigned to your users to allow you to enter or make a default account, expense account for each employee. To enable employees to enter expense report, you must sign in the Oracle version global HCM as a human resources with a human resources specialist rules. Whether you create an employee record for an existing or a new employee, the mandatory expense entry data is automatically assigned. For an existing employees, you have to navigate Manage Employee Page, select Employee Business Units, and you will find a default expense account. For example, I will show you here. Go to Home Page, Setup and Maintenance, Expense. There is one user. Select user and security. You can manage users. You have to select the person, whatever is any name. You just came here and go to actions my expense information for the expense information you will find a default expense account so how to default you have to assign for each of your users or employees it must be employees the default expense account so once he these employees trying to create expense type or expense to enter his expenses, he will find this expense account as a default there. If not, either he must enter it manually or whatever. This is our last point here. And again, the full picture will be after we complete the setup. First, we start by system options expense. And then today, we discussed about expense type and expense report template next session we will talk about policy and approvals and auditing after that we will create expense report template to check our setup thanks for watching